wanted to do is welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome in. And happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, I got camouflage on, so that's green, right? It works. Anyway, I am participating in the second annual, okay, it's a mouthful, the second annual St. Patty's Day Thread Up Fun Box Crawl. No, Thread Up Fun Box Unboxing Crawl Collaboration. I think I got that right. And you probably saw some of the um, resellers already do their unboxings. Now it's my turn. First of all, I want to thank Lindsay Clark for coordinating this big effort and putting this all together. Thank you, Lindsay. I want to thank Steph, Stephanie, uh, Style by Steph, for creating that fun thumbnail. <laughs> I love the leprechaun holding the thread up box. And you probably saw uh, Happy Hour Haulers right before me, Janet and Bryn, for inviting me. I thank them for inviting me to participate. And who doesn't love a fun box? Girls want to have fun, don't we? So uh, let me go through the lineup quickly in the next uh, segment, and then I'll open up my box and see what I got. Stick around. So if you haven't already watched before me, uh, at 2 p.m., Lindsay Clark started off the crawl. 2.30, it was Carrie T. 3 o'clock was Cammy, And then 3.30, it was Jennifer. At 4 p.m., it was Deborah. Timeless Jewel by Deborah. Then Pat Garza. And right before me was Janet and Bryn of Happy Hour Haulers. And now you're watching me. Next up, right after me, comes Christina of Stina Resells. And at 6.30 is Lindsay Vallarde. And 7 is Amanda Pruitt. And then at 7.30, we have Carol of RV Butterfly. To wrap up the last quarter, 8 p.m., we have Kay of Passports and Pizza Pies. 8.30, we have Stephanie, the Steph Style. 9 o'clock, we have Marilyn of Shady NY. And to wrap up the crawl, we have Jamie, a.k.a. the Bag Lady, the one who articulates quite colorfully. So, I hope you enjoy this collaboration and subscribe to each and every one. And now it's time for me to open up my box. Okay, here's my fun box. It came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, okay, without further hesitation, let's just cut right into it. Oh, why? Why? Oh, here is that iconic tissue paper and this is first looks um here's my receipt um and as you know the fun box is a rescue box that contains 10 items and it costs 34 dollars and they charge 9.99 for shipping and for me, there was $3.90 uh, tax. So total was $47.89. First off, oop, I dropped something. Here's first looks, really nice hat, a sun hat. Here's the other things. So let us, um, you know what? I'm gonna take everything out individ individually and go over it with you uh, in a moment. So. Be right back. First item. I gotta say, I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, it is a sun hat. It looks to be in great condition. Brand new condition. And it is from a company called Lack of Color. It is a medium large. 
100% cotton, spot clean, made in PRC. I don't know, okay, centimeters, 58 centimeters. Really sweet, and it also has the ties, so you can tie it around, your, you know, underneath your chin to keep it on. Really pretty floral pattern all around. That's neat. So this is item number one. Next item, it's a belt, brand new with tag. It says size medium, M and M and G, 100% polyurethane, nice belt. Let's see what the tags says. Waist belt by Mango. Here you can see it is um, European. The price is in pounds sterling. And looking at that, it retails uh, for $25, $26 in U.S. currency. And this is a size medium. So we have this. Pretty nice. Uh, item number two. Next up, we have something in the Ziploc bag. It says Holiday by Emma Mulholland. Holiday, I think of that Madonna song. What are you? Oh. It's actually a square canvas. Brand new with tag from Sydney Australia, and it's a pillow cover. It's a pillow cover. Black and white. Yeah, it's like, um, here's the zipper. It works very nicely. It's a very heavy canvas. So this zipper cover, remember when um, I opened the a thread up box recently and I and I had like cake pans. It was really odd to me because I'm like thread up. That's how they end up in fun boxes because uh, their online website is normally closed. This here going across is about 16 inches. So it's probably the same um, the other way since it is like a square yeah i'm gonna say 15 and a half 15 you know because you have to take in a into account the seam that goes around so we have this one here um made in australia this pillowcase cover sydney to be exact holiday the label that's the website, holidaythelabel.com. Yeah, pillow cover. Interesting. Okay, so this one here is item number. I'll just place it back the way it was. Item number three. Next up is a very, very large uh scarf you know what i believe this is um a wrap it's new one with new with tag this is by liz claiborne oh it's one size it still has the price tag on it retails for 28 dollars color block rose um okay let's see Anything else? One size fits most, 85% polyester, 15% rayon. It has um, fringes, really soft. And it's, uh, yeah, more like a 
like a rose gold here. And this is more like a taupe. And it's really quite large. Oh, and then you even have a contrasting, like a ivory color. So yeah, definitely colored block. And um, we have this here, really large wrap by Liz Claiborne. And this one here, let's see, what am I up to? One, two, three, four. Item number four. Number five, this is a new in box, never been open. As you can see, that is the color. It is a shape and energized Miss W30. Strong support for busy legs. Hmm. As you can see, it's never been opened. Um, size, oh, M, medium. So medium, oh gosh, this is all in, okay, pounds. Medium, medium. 99 pounds to... Hmm. I'm thinking 165. I'm going by this here. This is all written in different languages. This is actually made in Austria. Walford. Shape and energized. Leg support tights. Perfect for work and travel. <laughs> okay. There you go. We have a box of tights. Okay, next up, look at this. So soft. This is a snake print clutch. Corners actually look okay. Let's check out this side. Yeah. Very nice. Has a silver tone hardware. It's funny. Um, I do see... You see that pattern? It's like the snake pattern. Somehow it got it got on there. And this here opens like so. It's just a, a little hinge. I'm gonna snap it back. Okay. It's a pouch that has that type of closure. And um, there are two slip pockets on one side. There is um you see that mark there? There's a little stain. On this side, okay, what, what is that? What is that stuff? It's like little cardboard circle pieces. Um, okay, there is a brand. This says The Limited. I don't know if you can see that. The Limited. On this side, there is a zippered pocket. The zipper works fine. Okay, so the inside is okay. I, I mean, it's not bad. There are two slip pockets on one side, one zippered pocket on the other. And yes, there's just a couple marks here. Um, other than that, it looks to be in, in great condition besides having those two marks. So we have this here. That's pretty neat by the Limited. Let me, um, there it is. Let me measure this. Let me grab the tape measure. This here measures about 11 inches going across. And the height, give or take, seven and a half. And the sides, inch and a half maybe. So we have this. Uh, I don't recall what number this is. I'll put it on the screen along with the price, but I'll also uh, count everything up at the end. So we have this one by uh, The Limited. Next up, this is a, I guess an evening purse filled with rhinestones. This one here, since I have the measuring tape handy, measures in at about a foot, wide and um the height is about six inches it has this type of um handle which is also filled with rhinestones and um 
Silvertone hardware. So the strap drop, give or take, is about nine inches. I'm going to just give you um, approximate measurements. Oh, gosh. I... This is a lot of rhinestones to check offhand. It looks pretty good. This corner actually has the thread, the ending thread. So I guess that has to be tucked in. Let's look at the back of it. Yeah, there's a lining inside. This is a quite, quite a cute bag. I mean, you no. Know, it has no structure to it, so it's kind of saggy. <laughs> Let's check out the zipper. It's a polished um, zipper pull. There you go. There is the interior. Made in China. This looks immaculate. I see absolutely no name. But... It's like a um, nylon, light gray interior, and there is a slip pocket on one side. So there you go. We have this. Next up we have this, which um, I'm really not sure what it may be for it is by patagonia which is a very uh expensive brand for i guess outdoor camping um sports i'm thinking it is a large pouch the top has these clips. Huh. So it clips together, but there's ac there's actually no closure on the top, no zipper, no snap, nothing. So I'm not quite sure what this may be used for. Maybe a, a packing uh, pouch? Because there's also this zipper compartment inside for the bottom portion. Maybe you could put shoes in there or something. And it does zip pretty much all around. So there you have the compartment. This is in great condition. It's black and like a mauve pink color on the bottom. So, and it also has um, a hook right here on, on, on one side. So if you know what this is, you know, I, I could also look it up. Uh, we have this one here by Patagonia. I think this is the second to last item. Um, this here is a camisole. As you can see, it is new with tag. It is adjustable. It has like a V. Um, a v-neck it, it does flare a little bit on the bottom this feels like silk let's see what the tags say oh look at this return exchange certificate invalid destroyed what this is by silk silky silk silky focus on silky life silk silky.com um, sleep tight, blah, blah, blah. Silk benefits, mm -hmm, blah, blah, blah. You even have a swatch of silk. <sighs> I, um, I had gone to Fashion Institute of Technology and I have a binder filled with swatches of different materials and we needed to know, like, the burn, um, yeah, see, over here, I don't know if you can see it, it says... The swatch that can be burnt uh, to test for 
for, um, oh, that's a hard word to see. Authenticity? Beware of burns. <laughs> well, anyway, my binder, in fact, I, I have it somewhere still. Um, it's filled with different fabric swatches, and we had to know the properties of each one. So that's funny. That's the first time I've seen a swatch on a garment. Um, let's see if there's any uh, tags in here. Yeah, it's a uh, silk silky, 100% silk size medium. Very nice. And it feels amazing. So we have that. There you go. Okay, the last item in this bag looks to be um, a pair of sunglasses, perhaps. I don't recognize that logo offhand. What do you think? Having fun yet? There's something else in here. What is this? Blue light test card. Blue light test card. There's something else. I feel something else in here. Oh, okay. You get a cleaning. So, oh, I've heard of this brand. Sojo's, Soho's. You get a little tool for, I guess, adjusting. Okay, you get this. <laughs> wow, these are nice. These are really nice. Check these out. Tortoise shell frames. Classic style. Here you see the gunmetal uh, sides along with this here. It does have the padded um, nose guard thing. They look to be extremely clean. Look how clear that is. So what are these? How to use blue light test card. Um, all right. Well, we have this excellent pair of glasses by, by this brand, that brand. So, all right, that, that wraps up this, uh, fun box. Let's count really quickly how many things we got. Okay, so we got the glasses one, the camisole two, Liz Claiborne scarf, I mean, wrap, mm, shawl, three, the pantyhose four, the belt five, the pillowcase six, the sun hat, seven the patagonia bag uh eight the evening glittery blingy bag bag <laughs> nine the limited clutch ten and i believe that is it so what did you think of this fun box um I would say it wasn't bad. I got a lot of diverse uh, items. Um, the fact that so many things were new with tag, awesome. I really loved the sunglasses. I think, I mean, the, the glasses. I think that was um, my favorite. I do like this clutch and I think the pillowcase is cute and the hat too. So tell me your thoughts. I know we're chatting uh, together, so yeah let me know and in the meantime thank you everybody please everyone who is part of this collaboration their channel is listed below in my um description box so if you haven't already please subscribe to everyone and um check their channels out if you're not familiar with them i have subscribed to each one and a lot of these wonderful ladies are new to me and um as well as ones that i've already uh known for quite some time so thanks again for checking out this uh video thank you for watching the collaboration happy saint patrick's day enjoy your green beer 
and whatever you are doing today, stay safe, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye!